Hey, so this is a quick run through of the basic features of Uber Environment 2 available with Daz Studio 3 Advanced. Um, and, and Uber Environment 2 is uh, a custom light shader that gives you access to a powerful um, image based lighting and environment map based um, effects in Daz Studio. And uh, uh, you'll see w that it's under the DAS built-in content under lights you'll see uber environment 2 and that's where it lives um, so there, in here you'll see some basic presets uh, a couple presets here uh, this is a quick link to the online documentation uh, here's a, a script that allows you can to convert if you have your own HDR maps which are environment maps, high dynamic range um, environment maps. You can use this to convert them to a format uh, that 3 to light and Uber environment like. And then there's six maps that come with this, or eight, I guess, and and then quali quality presets. And the the dials here, I'll select. I'll just bring in the, the base here and you'll see it also brings in geometry there's uh, if I zoom out there's this and there's a big sphere in the scene that allows you to preview the maps um, as they as they sit on the sphere so I'll, I'll select uber environment 2 and then just pick a map that I want to use double click on that and then you see in the viewport you see the preview of this so I can tell where the sun is and the direction it's coming from and that kind of thing uh, so I better know what's going on when I hit render uh, and you might want to keep it depending on how you want to work you might want to keep this map out here big or this geom preview geometry rather uh, I usually like to um, just scale it down real small so I can see it in camera. So I'll just move this a little bit. And so here's the sphere. Uh, and so I can tell when I render where the light direction is going to come from. So I'm just going to do a quick render. And actually, I'm going to be using render throttle one of my products um, during this demo just because it helps me render more quickly here so I'll do a quick render I see that it's a little too bright so I'll, I'll select that and just knock down the intensity a little um, and but you see that the the light is is coming from this direction where the light is on the sphere and a new feature to uber environment 2 is that you get directional occlusion shadows so even though it's a map based light um, this this map that I have applied to the light shader is the only thing lighting the scene right now but it it knows the high in intensity p parts of the map and is able to cast directional shadows um, and and so I can also just use this to, um, if I want to rotate, you know, where the where the sun is, I can again use these quick um, render settings uh, to to get quick renders out of here. Um, and so now I've rotated that, and you see the 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 sun is in a different place. And I'm using quality settings through render throttle, but you'll also see down here that I can I can select the Uber environment and I have uh, different quality settings here as well. Extra low through extra high. And these using these presets will give you a good idea of what knobs you can use to speed this up and, and and your quality versus speed settings 
So as I double click on these, you'll see it's mainly these controls here that are going to be changing. And and which and it's mainly these your samples, your shading rate and max error that are giving you having the biggest effect on on quality versus speed and and render throttle will automatically give you presets for spinning those as well so um, I'll just be using that but those are there um, and so I usually use the quick you know the low quality render settings to dial in you know what I want this to look like uh, dial in my intensity where the sun where you know the placement and that sort of thing and once I have that I can then do a higher quality render and so I'll go ahead and do that now and obviously you'll see that it, it's going to slow down substantially now that I've turned up the quality quite a bit um, and you'll al also notice as you as you work uh, with in, with different scenes that things like transparency are probably going to be the biggest thing that really affects your render times things like transmapped hair will really slow things down um, but you uh, you still have those quality dials to work with but be aware that things like opacity are going to slow things down quite a bit and so you see in this render that a lot of the noise is going away and that kind of thing and you're getting more of a finished render uh, with it and um, I won't cover all of it in this uh, this demo here, but uh, in I'll I'll be in the next video. I'll be going over some of the the more advanced features, especially this environment mode that um, that allows you to have kind of different shadow options. You'll see that this shadow again is directional and it's really really soft. Um, ray trace shadow so it's not slow but it gives you really nice results and, and there you have it